Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we are going to be building a cheap, portable, smart projector using the Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. So let's talk about this projector a little bit. Uh, this projector is actually a very affordable projector, about $70 or so. I'm gonna leave all the links in the description below on where you can get all the products that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. And this projector ceases to amaze me at every turn. Not only does it have multiple inputs or every input that you could think of, it's got the VGA, uh, audio video composite, it's got headphone out, uh, HDMI, and it's also got the USB media. So I've owned a few projectors and I know what's the difference between a high quality one and a affordable one. It's actually really good. It runs about 1200 lumens and it runs on LED. So it's probably gonna outlive my regular projector that uses a bulb. Now, the only downside to this, or you wouldn't even say a downside, but it doesn't have zoom function. So basically the minimum viewing distance on this thing is 36 inches. Anything before that, you're just gonna get a big blur. Unlike my other projector where it's fixed, you could actually zoom in and out. But then again, this is a portable projector, so you could just move the projector anywhere you want. Uh, it's got speakers built in, which is great because most of my other projectors don't. And like I was saying before, it's really bright. Now you see my basement, it's actually well lit and I'm able to use this on this well lit room on a wall that's not even white and doesn't have the reflective materials and it's able to view everything perfectly fine with the light on. Now the next thing I'm gonna be using is a Raspberry Pi Zero because of its small form factor and its ability to squeeze into tight spaces like this projector. And uh, what I'm gonna be using as far as the operating system goes, it's a dual boot operating system between OSMC and RetroPie. So if you guys wanna know more about this dual booting or even quad booting, check out my buddy's channel at TechWizTime. He's done a full video on how to install it, how to get everything going and more description about it. So I'll leave a link in the description to that video below. Now that those things are out of the way, let's get to a time lapse. So the first thing I did was find the old USB hub that I had and I decided the cables that connects to a computer itself. Then I got a hard drive ribbon cable and then I soldered the four pins here, then soldered the other four pins to my Raspberry Pi. Then I got two more thicker cables that I found a power source on the projector that has constant power even though the projector is off. Now that all uh, that's all soldered, tested and done, I added a keyboard, a USB keyboard, and then I added a Wi-Fi dongle. Now we're gonna take a look at how it looks like. Actually, I'm going through the setup process right now and you can see on this wall and on this base, it, everything looks perfectly fine and you're able to read everything. So I'm very impressed at how bright this thing is. All right, now that everything's all set up and installed, I'm just gonna show you a quick preview of OSMC or Kodi. And I'm gonna be playing um, Big Bang Theory. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you guys liked it, hit that little like button. If you guys got any questions about it, hit it in the comments below. Now, a couple of thoughts about it, or a couple of things I could have done better was actually buy a longer HDMI cable so I could locate the Raspberry Pi Zero better in the projector. Uh, another thing was after the fact, I actually ended up buying one of these little Bluetooth controllers. Uh, so it's a keypad and a gamepad together and there's a little switch that operates it so I could play RetroPie or use it as a media center remote. And I also ended up buying one of these uh, two-in-ones Wi-Fi and Bluetooth dongle. That way I could eliminate the hub inside the uh, projector. So these are the things I'm gonna be adding in later, but uh, I'll leave all the links in the description below for these products. If you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button. That helps me a lot. Also, hit that little bell button next to it, which is the notification icon, and that will give you notification on the next video that's gonna be out. Now, as I say in my nerd cave, Hack till it hurts. In this case, it's gonna be tech whiz time because I already grabbed his IP address. So something's happening now and it's giving me a pin number of 